Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I am so excited because I have another Christmas story. This is a really, really neat story. This is a story about a farmer who wants to do something very, very special for his animals at Christmas. And he does. And it's called The Christmas Barn. The Christmas Barn. Look at these beautiful animals on this farm. I wonder what it is that the farmer wants to do for them. Hmm. We're going to have to get into this book and find out what these animals get for Christmas from the farmer. Are you ready to get inside to this book with Miss Dorothy and learn all about the Christmas barn? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Christmas Barn, written and illustrated by John and Jennifer Churchman. The sheepdogs watched out the farmhouse window as the rain came down. The autumn storm was fierce. It tossed the colorful leaves around and the trees bent low in the wind. Crack! In the forest, a tree fell to the ground. Look at the dogs looking out the window, just watching the rain fall. But they heard a tree fall. The next morning after the storm had passed, Farmer John went to look for the fallen tree with Lady and Macy. He found the old pine tree lying on the forest floor. It had been the tallest tree on Moonrise Farm for over 150 years. Now it was gone. Hmm, he thought. Maybe the tree can have another life. Maybe we can make a special Christmas gift for the animals. That night, Farmer John and his wife, Farmer Jennifer, drew up the plans. So the big old tree fell down, but the farmer doesn't want to waste it. He wants to make something special. Over the next few days, Farmer John turned the old pine tree into logs. He then rolled the logs into a big pile with his tractor. He studied the plans for the animal's gift. There was a lot of work to do before Christmas. Joy, the alpaca, stopped to watch as he worked. She moved slowly. Her belly was big and round. That's an alpaca. James the Sawyer milled the logs into boards. Brr, rr, rasp, 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 went the sawmill. The chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese came running, curious to see what was going on. What is this? Quack, quack. What is that? Quack, quack. Look at all the animals. They want to see what all this is about. Early the next morning, Farmer John started building the special Christmas gift for the animals. First, he cleared a space in the woods, right where the old pine tree had fallen. Then he marked where the walls would go with ribbon and stakes. Mo the farm cat sat on the old stump, watching curiously. The sound of Farmer John's hammer rang out through the forest. Thunk! 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 Finn and Sweet Pea the sheep watched through the pasture fence as he worked. They looked at each other and back again. What can it be? What can it be? All the animals are so curious as to what Farmer John is making them. Farmer John worked every day for many weeks as the weather turned colder and colder. Brrr! Brrr! went the drill, drill as he made the walls and a roof. He looked up at the sky. Winter will be here any day now, he said. I'll have to hurry. The alpacas picked their way through the trees to see what Farmer John was doing. Joy put her nose up in the air. Sniff, sniff, snuffle, stuffing. Something smelled different in the forest. Farmer John was almost finished with the frame. Snow's coming, he said to himself. He could see his breath in the chilly air. Meadow the lamb wandered up to see what he was doing. She gave a soft baa when she saw him. Don't worry, little one, he said. I'm making something to keep you warm all winter. Oh, the little lamb was worried. Farmer John said it'll be okay. As he turned back to his work, Farmer John heard the crunch, crunch, crunch of leaves. Someone was coming up the path. It was Farmer Richard with a box full of tools. 
Could I lend a hand? called the old friend. Why, yes, said Farmer John. And together they made the doors and the windows and a beautiful cupola for the roof that afternoon. All the next day, Farmer John painted, splat, swish, splat, swish, went his brush with the dark red paint. The highland cows swung their horns this way and that to stay warm, murmuring to each other in gentle moos as they watched him work. It would snow soon, he thought. No time to waste. He's got to hurry. Winter's coming. The sheep watched as the first snowflakes fell onto their thick, woolly coats. The alpacas huddled around Joy to keep her warm, their feet getting frosty on the snow-covered ground. Oh no, here comes the snow. That afternoon, as the snow grew deeper, Farmer John spent his time inside the building, pens and feeders. He then decorated the gates with balsam garland and also adding something special to the hayloft window. Early the next morning, morning, Farmer John heard a truck rumble, rumble, rumble up the lane. It was his friend Farmer Roger bringing a load of hay to fill the loft. Sadie the pony looked over the fence. Hay! Sweet hay! Oh, the horses are very excited. They see hay going into the new barn. The sheepdog watched thoughtfully from the hillside as the snow started again, falling gently around them. Farmer John worked all day and into the night, for tomorrow was Christmas Eve. He has to get it done. He has to get it done. When the sun rose the next morning over the snow-covered farm, the special gift for the animals was done. A barn! A barn for Christmas! Made from the wood of the old pine tree! Farmer John and Farmer Jennifer couldn't wait to show the animals their new home. They brought everyone in from the snowy pasture, gave them fresh hay, and took them to their soft beds. Joy the alpaca was the last to come in. Farmer John had made a special place for her right by the window. That evening, as the animals were settling in, they heard the jingle of bells. The alpacas and sheep looked up from their hay, and the chickens scurried towards the barn door. It was their neighbor, Farmer Marriott, with her donkeys. They carried baskets of pumpkins, apples, and corns. Is that for us? Is that for us? Thank you for the wonderful gifts, said Farmer John. The donkeys replied with a loud, Yeah! But Farmer Marriott just smiled with a twinkle in her eye. A full moon rose high in the sky that night, rare for Christmas Eve. Inside the warm barn, Joy gave birth to a little cryo. The animals gathered around to welcome the baby alpaca to the farm. Oh, Joy had a baby! She had a baby alpaca. I think we'll call her Hope, whispered Farmer John. They're going to give the new baby the name. It's Hope. Farmer John walked outside. It was peaceful and the snow sparkled in the moonlight. He set his hands on the stump of the old pine tree. You have a new life now. You've become a very fine barn, he said. A Christmas barn for everyone. He smiled and spoke softly to the animals, safe and snug in their new home. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Oh, I really, really like that book. Look at the beautiful barn that the farmer built for his animals. And just in time for Christmas. Just in time to get them in out of the snow. He worked really, really hard and his friends helped and they used that old tree and made a beautiful barn just in time for the baby to be born. <gasps> Did you see that baby alpaca? And they named her Hope. She was so cute and she was born in the barn just in time for Christmas. That's really special. Reminds me how Jesus was born in a stable, just like Baby Hope. This was a really, really good book. Even when we read books that don't have to do with Baby Jesus, we can still find ways to think about Baby Jesus at Christmas. Because when we think of Baby Hope, 
born in that barn. That will remind us of baby Jesus born in the stable. I like this book. Didn't you love those pictures of those real animals? <gasps> They were so wonderful looking. And I wondered why they were taking such good care of that one alpaca. And then I realized it was because she was getting ready to have a baby. This was an exciting book. I'm really glad we read it together. It was something fun to do and think about as we're reading our books on the way to Christmas. This has been a great night. I'm so glad you came to be with me. Now I have more Christmas books to read to you. And then I'm going to need you to tell me what book you want me to read because that's Miss Dorothy's favorite thing to do. Hear from you and read your favorite book. Just send me a note, drop by my office, send me a book, however you want to do it. Miss Dorothy is here waiting to hear from you and I want to read your stories. And between now and then, until I come back again and while we're waiting for Christmas, I need you to do something really, really important. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see me because I'm going to be sitting right here waiting to read a book to you. Bye.